My name is John Short. I'm the VP of Sales with Keith McMillan Instruments, and I'm here today to show you Cuneo, a 3D multi-touch pad controller from Keith McMillan Instruments. I've got it connected via USB to my computer with a live set, and I'm going to demonstrate some of the capabilities. What sets Cuneo apart from other controllers is it's the size of an iPad, but much lighter than an iPad. It also has pads, rotaries, sliders, and switches, which are all fully assignable. Uh, each one of the pads are pressure and velocity sensitive, also have X and Y location sensitivity. Everything is pressure sensitive, including the rotaries, the sliders, and the pads, and even the buttons. So I'm going to demonstrate to you a specific set, a couple of different modes we have in Cuneo, including grid mode, which allows it to work as a step sequencer. I'm going to start here by um, triggering the different scenes in live, controlling the different effects, and showing you each of the different sections of Cuneo and how they function. So I'm going to trigger the start of the set here. And you can see the follow action of the pads, letting you know where you are in the track. You can see the feedback acting as VU meters on the bottom faders here. Um, I can mute any of the tracks by simply touching the bottom or max the tracks by hitting the top. I can also slide them into my desired position. I have this multi-touch slider on the bottom here mapped to a crossfader. You can also select a region, which more applies when selecting stereo locations. In this circumstance, uh, it simply acts as a crossfader, but you could see from the LED feedback, I could select certain sections. Uh, the, the faders up here on the top, I have controlling my effects. So I've got delay. I've got a bit crusher here. The rotaries, I can scrub through the tracks at a higher resolution than most DJ decks. I can also map different effects to it. The pads right now I have set up to control each of the different tracks individually so I can control the drums. can also control each of the individual tracks. Everything is fully assignable that you see here. The switches are set to control different banks. You can also have them do transport controls as you see on the top. I can press stop or press play. You can have it do whatever function you desire. Now the blue mode button up here allows you to switch modes. I'm going to go into what we call grid mode. Grid mode allows you to select certain corners of the pad to trigger different things. So it basically acts as a step sequencer. So I can go through and program on the fly the different samples. And then I can go back into the other mode and the sequence will still apply. Or I could press the button, the diamond shape button I have set to clear the sequence, so then I can start over and just go with the original mode. And that's all simply done by hitting the blue mode button, which also allows you to map on the fly. will set you into what we call coma mode, which is a controller mapping mode, where you can go in and customize all of your own sets.
Now I'm going to give you some examples of some of the things that you can do with Cuneo in a performance situation. If you have any questions about Cuneo or for more information, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.